You've probably heard of or even got your hands on gadgets like the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally and some unique offerings from boutique brands like Ioneo. They all have one thing in common. They're all powered by AMD chips. But wait, here's the big question. What about Intel? They've been somewhat in the shadows in this category until now. Enter the MSI Claw, the first handheld to boast Intel's new Meteor Lake chips. So buckle up as we take a first look at this game-changing device. At first glance, the MSI Claw might just pass as a black ROG ally, but it is anything but that. The first thing you'll notice is how distinct the handheld ergonomics are. Both have angular bottoms in a similar vibe. They even have similar control layout. But the claw stands out with its flatter profile. This design choice makes a significant difference in hand feel. The ROG Ally with its flat grip was okay, but the MSI claw hits the sweet spot between being semi-flat and having a comfortable hump on the back. It's smaller than the Steam Deck, but it also offers a 7-inch screen like the Ally, but feels more substantial in your hands. Now let's talk guts and glory. The MSI Claw is powered by an Intel Core Ultra 7 chip, the new ones. I always thought they were going to be used for Ultrabooks to compete with Apple's M chips, but I'm surprised to see that it's also great for handheld gaming. In fact, this is the first handheld PC with an Intel chip. It has always been Ryzen here and Ryzen there, but finally AMD now has a competition in the handheld PC space, and it's actually pretty close. Now, I just want to say that we're currently looking at a pre-production model. So while the exterior and hardware seems pretty much set in stone, the internal performance, mainly on the software side, could still see some tweaks. But as of now, there are three power profiles, a super battery mode at 15 watts, a balanced mode at 30 watts, and an extreme performance mode peaking at 45 watts. Interestingly, this allows the claw to pull more power than the ROG Ally, the Lenovo Legion Go, or even the Steam Deck if needed. But it can't operate at a lower wattage like the ROG Ally which can go down to 9 or 10 watts instead of the claw's 15 watts. But again, it safely pulls up to 45 watts instead of the Ally's 25-35 watts max. In the Steam Deck and Legion Go, which both play around 15-25 watts max. Of course, wattage doesn't mean everything, and performance testing was limited. But initial impressions suggest that the claw competes head-on with the ROG Ally especially in the 25-30 watt range. The cooling system in the claw is notably robust, featuring two fans and two heat pipes, a clear indication that it's built to handle significant power draw. But of course, if you are planning to use this at max power, expect to have a ton of fan noise. A standout feature of the MSI claw is its battery. It packs a 53 watt hour battery, a considerable upgrade from the ROG Ally's 40 watt hour. MSI claims a 50% increase in battery life over its competitors, which should be around 2 hours at max performance. It seems plausible, of course, and I'm not giving a definite yes, since these things can change through software before the actual release. Now, both the Claw and the Ally has 7-inch 120Hz displays. It's even likely the same panel. Nevertheless, it's still a fantastic choice for the Claw, given the quality of the Ally screen. The control layout is similar across both devices, but the Claw features a unique aspect in its black buttons. They are smaller, but have multiple facets, making them more accessible and user-friendly during intense gaming sessions. And of course, both of them have RGB rings around the joysticks. The MSI Claw is a surprise entry into the handheld gaming market, and a pleasant one at that too. It's not just a direct competitor to the likes of ROG Ally. It's a statement from MSI and Intel that they're ready to play in the handheld gaming space. With its innovative design, robust performance options, and promising battery life, 
the MSI Claw is shaping up to be a serious contender. It's an exciting time in the world of handheld gaming, and the MSI Claw is a testament to that. We're eagerly awaiting for the final retail version to see how it truly stacks up in this competitive market. But what do you think about the Claw? Are you going to grab one? Let us know in the comments below. As for me, I think it can really shape the future of gaming handhelds, especially for the fact that Intel is now a player in the handheld scene. Pretty excited to see more. As always, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing for more updates and tech reviews. This is Marty, and I'll see you tomorrow.